Hi peeps, I want to explain Bode's law today. Since the total listening lecture on Bode's law is not clear enough to get the big picture. Given the high frequency of astronomy topics occurring in TOEFL reading and listening, I think it's worth it to have some background knowledge on this. So what is Bode's law? The law is about the spacing of planet's orbits around the sun. In 1766, Joanne Bode proposed an easy way to memorize the approximate mean distances of many planets from the sun. The unit of distance is called the astronomical unit. This is the formula he discovered. I think the reason that the TOEFL lecture on Bode's law is difficult is that most people do not have the background history when Bode proposed the law. That is, what was going on in 1766? They already knew about the existence of these five planets as they were identified by Babylonians 2000 BC. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Bode's law didn't seem right since there was no planet at the 2.8 spot. In 1781, William Herschel discovered Uranus, although he himself thought it was a comet. Did Herschel have a superman vision? No, he used a telescope. This fact makes Uranus the first planet found with the aid of a telescope. Surprise, surprise! Uranus was found at the distance predicted by Bode's law. So people started to rave about how correct Bode's law was. Since the law predicted the existence of a planet at 2.8, people started to search the 2.8 areas to look for a planet. Voila, they did find one, called Sirius. Alas, Sirius did not rise up to the planet's status, since people soon discovered many other planetoids, or dwarf planets. Since they were observed as small points of light, just like stars, the planetoids were called asteroids. Astra means star, and oid means resembling. So what was found in 2.8 space was a bunch of asteroids circling around the sun, which we now call asteroid belt. I hope this background history helps you understand the TOEFL lecture better. For your reference, this is the timeline of discovery for the rest of the planets. In 1846, Neptune was discovered. In 1930, Pluto was discovered. In 2006, Pluto is no longer viewed as a planet, and just like Ceres, is called a dwarf planet. Also like Ceres, Pluto is one of the many dwarf planets circling the outer side of the gas giants. This outermost area in the solar system is called the Cooper Belt. By the way, Cooper Belt is one of the topics in TOEFL reading.